Yo Haruna, a reserved teenager residing in Tokyo alongside his three sisters, is an avid Twitter user. One fateful day, he crosses paths with a mysterious girl named Fouka Akitsuki, and due to a misunderstanding, she ends up breaking his phone and slapping him. As Yo prepares to transfer to a new school, he discovers that Fouka also attends the same school when they unexpectedly meet on the rooftop. Another misunderstanding unfolds as Fouka tosses Yo's repaired phone over the edge, but the following day, she kindly helps him locate it as a gesture of gratitude for Yo returning a CD she had dropped during their initial encounter. Later, Fouka notices Yo holding spare movie tickets, a gift from his sister for a film, featuring a song by Koi Kiyonashi, whom Fouka admires greatly. They decide to watch the movie together and afterward, join the line for phone charms, meant for couples. Following their day together, Yo receives an online message from someone familiar. Fouka has a conversation with her parents, Suzuka and Yamato, who are both former athletes, discussing her lack of interest in joining the track team while expressing her desire to discover a genuine passion. One day, Yo spots Fouka on the school courtyard, quietly shedding tears, and notices that his classmate Makoto is also present. Yo assumes that Fouka has feelings for Makoto, but later discovers that Makoto is not interested in girls, and Fouka's tears were triggered by an emotional song by Koyuki that she was listening to. The person who contacts Yo turns out to be Koyuki, a childhood friend. Koyuki invites Yo to her upcoming concert, and Yo attends the event along with Fouka. Following the concert and after hearing Fouka sing, Yo proposes the idea of her pursuing music. Inspired by this, Fouka decides to form a band with Yo and Makoto. Following Ms. Tamami's suggestion, Yo, Fouka, and Makoto venture to the seaside to secure part time employment at a beach house, aiming to earn money for musical instruments. While working at the beach house, Yo's inherent timidity and shyness pose challenges in serving customers and create some tension with Yahaji, the beach house owner. Yo briefly considers returning home, but Fouka's encouragement motivates him to improve his performance and gradually build confidence. Later, during a swimming excursion, Foka and Yo find themselves swept too far from the shore, leading to Yo losing Khan.Eschiousness. Fortunately, he regains Khan.Eschiousness once they return to the beach, much to Foka's relief, who had been administering CPR. In the evening, Koiki contacts Yo, and they arrange to meet. Surprisingly, Foka also arrives while searching for Yo and encounters them together. Upon witnessing Yo and Koiki together, Foka hastily departs and returns to the beach house. The following morning, Yo attempts to clarify to Foka that he and Koiki share a platonic relationship, but Foka becomes upset, feeling he never disclosed this information to her. Tomomi, Hisashi, and Kazuya pay a visit to the beach house, and it is soon revealed that Tomomi, Hisashi, and Yahaji are former members of the renowned band Hedgehogs. The former bandmates mention that Hedgehogs is currently on hiatus due to the disappearance of bassist Nico and vocalist Tama. Kazuya, who had always hoped Foka would join the track team, expresses doubt about her pursuit of music. Tomomi decides to arrange a trial performance, with Foka taking the vocal role and Yo handling the bass. During the performance, Foka astonishes everyone with her singing talent, and Kazuya is recruited into the band. In the midst of it all, Foka and Yo reconcile, apologizing to each other for the previous tension stemming from Ya's meeting with Koiki. Koiki visits Ya's home and becomes emotional when he hints at his romantic feelings for her. Meanwhile, at school, the band members come across Sarah, a guitarist and Hizashi's younger sister, who has had previous conflicts in her former bands. In spite of this, Foka invites Sarah to join their band during a practice session at the music studio, and Sarah accepts the offer. During their practice, the band realizes that they have considerable room for improvement in terms of their instrumental skills. Later, the group shares a meal together, and after everyone else departs, Yo and Sarah discover that they have been longtime friends on Twitter, unbeknownst to each other. This revelation leads to a change in Sarah's initially cold demeanor toward Yo as she warms up to him. Following a period of dedicated practice, the band gathers at Kazuya's garage and delivers a vastly improved performance of a song. Inspired by their progress, Foka decides that the band should participate in the upcoming school festival. Reflecting on her childhood and her past friendship with Yo, Koiki remembers their close bond as children, 
where they were both devoted fans of the Hedgehogs and affectionately nicknamed each other Nico and Tama after the band members. However, Koiki's parents frequently argued, leading to their eventual separation. Koiki had to relocate with her mother, which deeply saddened her as it meant, being separated from Yo. In the present day, Koiki pays a visit to Yo to invite him to her Christmas concert, and during this encounter, they rekindle their childhood promise to make music together. Koiki's spirits dampen when Yo mentions his involvement in a school band with Foka and expresses contentment with their friendship. On her way home, Koiki encounters Foka, who accidentally gets splashed with dirty water from a passing truck. While at the public bath together, Koiki confides in Foka about her unrequited love and reveals that her music is born from these emotions. Upon hearing this, Foka reassures Koiki of her support in helping her realize her love. After their bath, Koiki departs with renewed confidence in her ability to convey her feelings to Yo. In a different location, in a coffee shop, a passerby who had secretly taken a photograph of Yo and Koiki together shares the picture with a friend. The school bandmates continue rehearsing for the upcoming festival. Shortly after, a photo of Yo and Koiki is posted online, spreading rapidly and triggering rampant rumors and gossip. Koiki's agency denies her presence in the picture and declines further comments. Meanwhile, Yo faces a barrage of questions from curious classmates at school. Foka expresses frustration but advises them to maintain their focus on the school festival performance. Despite her manager's counsel, Koiki eventually admits on a TV program that she was indeed in the picture and confesses her unrequited love for Yo, who serves as her muse for her music. This revelation sparks widespread animosity towards Yo from Koiki's fans, leading to threats of sabotaging the band's school festival performance. Nonetheless, the bandmates remain resolute in their commitment to the concert and diligently prepare for it. On the day of the performance, a hostile and angry crowd fills the school's indoor stadium as the band takes the stage. Despite facing threats and taunts from the crowd, the band readies themselves for their stage performance. In a troubling turn of events, a glass bottle is hurled at Yo, causing damage to his bass guitar. He Bicky, Yo's sister, steps in to defuse the situation but faces harassment. Meanwhile, Koiki, who had been covertly present, reveals herself to the audience in an attempt to appeal for calm. However, she is quickly surrounded and cut off by the crowd. Yo receives first aid for his injury from the bottle and borrows Nico's bass guitar, generously provided by Yahachi. With determination, the band takes the stage and starts their performance. Their music captivates the audience, gradually shifting their sentiment from hostility to support. Foka invites Koiki onto the stage, where they perform a song together. Following their performance, Koiki addresses the crowd, urging them to cease harassing Yo and apologizing for the tumultuous situation. The audience responds with understanding and support. After their successful performance, the band celebrates at a diner and decides to adopt the name, The Fallen Moon. However, Yo attempts to reach out to Koiki, but she chooses to avoid contact to prevent further danger. Additionally, Koiki begins experiencing vocal difficulties due to stress and excessive workload, prompting a public announcement of her hiatus and the cancellation of her Christmas concert. Concerned for her well-being, Yo tracks down Koiki and provides her with comfort and solace. Yo and Koiki spend a portion of the day together in town, and afterwards, Yo returns to rehearse with the band. Isashi arranges an opportunity for the band to perform at a live music club. In response, Foka expresses her intention to compose the band's inaugural original song. However, as she works on it, her burgeoning feelings for Yo become increasingly troublesome, especially when she observes Yo engaged in conversation with Koiki or spending time with her. Music producer Mogami meets with Foka, extending a professional offer for her to pursue a solo singing career. Nevertheless, Foka declines the offer due to her strong desire to remain dedicated to the band. While crafting the song, Foka continues to reflect on her emotions for Yo, coming to the realization that she has fallen in love with him. Upon completing the song, the band members make preparations for their upcoming performance at the music club. Simultaneously, Nico and Tama, who had been absent for several years, finally reappear. As they make their way to the music club, 
Boca narrowly avoids a potentially hazardous situation when she drops her phone charm on a crosswalk and reaches to retrieve it just in time to avoid being hit by a truck. At the club, The Fallen Moon delivers their performance, featuring their newly composed original song, For You, to an enthusiastic audience that includes Koi Ki and members of the Hedgehogs. Following the performance, Foka takes her bandmates by surprise by announcing her decision to depart from The Fallen Moon in pursuit of a solo career. With Foka's departure, the remaining bandmates make the tough choice to dissolve The Fallen Moon. They each embark on their separate journeys, with Makoto returning to his family, Kazuya rekindling his involvement in track, and Sarah joining a new musical group. During this period, Koiki pays a visit to Yo at his residence, expressing her strong desire for them to be together. She suggests that Yo could continue his musical pursuit without the band, with her as his companion. However, Yo ultimately declines her proposal. Determined to prevent the fallen moon from ending in this manner, Yo takes it upon himself to compose a fresh song. He then presents a CD to each of the former band members, urging them to reunite with the group. Although initially hesitant, each member eventually agrees to return, resuming their practice sessions with the hope that Foka might also make a comeback. Yo makes an attempt to visit Foka at her home, but she avoids him. The Fallen Moon agrees to accept another invitation from the music club to perform once more, even though Foka has not yet rejoined the band. Nonetheless, Yo makes a commitment to bring Foka back into the fold before the upcoming performance. Koiki arranges a meeting with Foka, encouraging her to come to terms with her feelings for Yo. On the day of the performance, Yo embarks on a quest to locate Foka and eventually discovers her on the school roof. There, they both confess their love for each other and return together to the music club. Now reunited, the Fallen Moon delivers a successful performance, premiering their new song, Fair Wind. As the band embarks on their continued musical journey, the Hedgehogs also end their hiatus and resume their performances, while Koiki forms a new band called Rabbits. Yo and Foka visit a shrine to pray, making a solemn promise to always remain together. I hope you liked the recap. If so, don't forget to subscribe and like it.